and that kept the marriage intact. Now, had Adam and Eve loved God, things would have been different. If Eve loved God, she would have consulted her head, Adam. Adam's love of God would have prevented him from acceding to his wife's fantasy, and he would not have blamed God for the problem. In the 103rd Psalm, it talks about us being uh, made of clay. In the 14th verse, it's a very uh, beautiful passage. Uh, frequently, uh, we consult this uh, when we are aware of our imperfections, and we are appreciative of how Jehovah views us. He himself well knows the formation of us, remembering that we are dust. Now, this being dust, on the one hand, it means that we are weak, we are imperfect. But on the other hand, like dust, like a potter's clay, we can be molded. And you do this by studying the Bible, praying, worshiping together, and persistently applying what you know to be the, the wise, the right, and the good thing to do. Loving forever, like living forever, depends on doing things God's way. Now we're going to take a look at two things that are going to help you to do that. It's respect and love. And we're going to talk about a husband gaining respect. And this is not suggesting that Sasha doesn't have to work for respect either. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. You see, a man is a godly head. And when we look at an example of a head, we look to Jesus Christ and how he dealt with the Christian congregation. Now Jesus was not abusive with the Christian congregation. There was no abdication. In other words, I can't deal with uh, these disciples bickering. I can't take this anymore. There was no sarcasm, no dehumanization, no abandonment, or failure to encourage. 